Hello everybody, thanks so much for stopping by here to the Zero Bio YouTube channel for some Blender stuff. Let's model a coffee cup and texture it in Substance Painter. So I brought in an image here, as you can see, and I'm looking from the front orthographic view, and I'll leave you a link to download this if you want to follow along. So let's do this. Let's bring in a cylinder, and I think I'm going to go for 24 vertices. Go into edit mode by pressing tab and Z for wireframe and pull it up and press S to scale it and we'll get it approximate and I'm going to press 2 to go into edge selection shift and alt click there pull it up to the top S to scale and we have this control R I'm going to bring an edge loop up to the top there let's go back into solid view and press 3 for face selection and select that and delete the faces let's come down and grab that face and press I to inset and pull that in let's give this some thickness by pressing E and Alt S and pulling and pull it in until you get the thickness you want for your coffee cup deselect that and then shift Alt and click there E and Alt S and we'll, we'll pull down to bring that out just a little bit like that go into object mode let's hide that reference image control 2 and shade smooth so control 2 of course gives us two subdivision levels control R I'm going to bring it as loop up near the top one down near the bottom another one up here and another one here you'll notice I'm not going right to the edge I want it a little bit sort of smooth like that. We'll come in here and I'll control R. I'll bring one up again near the top. And then we'll look down into it. Although I'll never see this. I press 3 for face selection and I'd inset. I'll pull that in. And that should be good enough for our coffee cup. Right, let's have a quick look at how many vertices. You know? It's not super low poly if you wanted to scatter them around. If we didn't have the subdivision surface, you could probably get away with that easily. Look at that. And scatter around. But I like the looks like that. Okay, we're going to UV editing now. And I'm going to press Control 1 to look from the back. And to UV edit, uh, UV unwrap this, I'm going to Shift Alt and click there. And I'll put. Shift Alt to click there and there. I'm going to deselect these. And I'm going to Shift Alt to click there, deselect those. Let's try that. Control E, Mark Scene. A to select it all, U, unwrap. And I get that. And what I'm going to do now is straighten this out a little bit. Let's uh, Control Plus this window here and choose a poly that's relatively square. So I'm going to take these points and SX0 to straighten them. SX0 and these ones SY0 and these ones SY0. I'm going to select that face and then Control L U follow active quads to straighten that out. I'll shrink it down a bit. And then I have to do the same thing over here. Go back to the vertex. I'll just select these. SY0. SY0. SX0. And SX0. Select that one. And then Control L. So this is the active one. Follow active quads. So I get that. Move that over here. Good enough. Okay. Cool. So let's take this and export this as an FBX. If you ever get this and it looks like an X-ray view, it's because polys are flipped the wrong way. So if I come over here, you'll see that it's red. Select it, Alt N, recalculate it outside, and then export it again. There's my coffee cup. So over to the texture set settings, I'm going to add an ambient occlusion channel 
in the baked mesh maps. I'm going to do 2048. Use low poly as high poly. Uncheck ID. And there it is over on the layers. And by the way, I should probably, I'll call this coffee cup material just in case I have something else in the scene. could use that I could or I could try this plastic grainy here let's hide that one and the reason I might use that is I can come in here I might prefer that as my styrofoam kind of material It's up to you. Okay, I might I might start with that. So just go back and forth between them. Yeah, I'll go with this one. All right, let's add some dirt and grunge to this. black mask and I will I probably just need color maybe roughness make this a dark brown and let's try a generator let's see how it works for, for dirt Side's kind of dirty. We get a bit of dirt there. There was one dirt. Let's try another one. Let's go for uh, color and roughness. I don't know that I need the roughness really. Let's just go for maybe color. Try a smart mask. I'll just throw some of the things in here and see. I do kind of like that. If it was tamed, not sure. That looks good or not. Maybe not. See what that does. We get the edges. No, not much. Okay, cool. Well, let's let's just keep that. Dirt 
two, and let's do something else. Um, let's do a paint layer this time. And we'll go for color. And this one, I'm gonna make it sort of a dark green. Let's try that. Brush, I'm gonna take the mold brush. Let's see. Yeah, something like that. Put it all on the bottom there. Just here and there. this thing up especially on the bottom all right something like that and then let's do a little bit of damage to this all right so let's mold and we'll come up we'll do paint layer and we'll select uh, height this time And I'm gonna choose a dirt brush. We'll try that. Let's just try dirt one. Sometimes crack. Let's see what that'll do for us. A little big crack in there. There we go. Just something like that. So there's our coffee cup. And now all we'd have to do is export these textures and bring them back into Blender, use them in Blender, and put that in our scene.